one of the biggest stars. Are you don't don't go humble on me. Just oh man, you I'm don't have to start turning red and shit. I know. I'm with you. I'm, I might get red <laughs> saying it, but why weren't you a front man? How, why did you get stuck with the drums? I mean, you're a badass drummer. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but uh, you know what? I, I always. I think that's. I think that's one of the reasons I've. I'm not that kind of personality where being in the back playing the drums is enough for me. I'm like, <laughs> sure I'm like no, 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 no. I want to be up there. I want to, you know, I want to be the ringleader. Drums turning so, upside yeah. down, circling that's over the arena. That's what I mean, started all that for me. I was like, yeah. I want to do something spectacular, you know. And I remember going to my very first concert. I went to go see Pat Travers. Tommy Aldridge was playing drums. And he's a badass drummer. Yeah, he was right? so physical. Yeah. And I'm sitting there and he breaks into a drum solo. And I'm looking around and everyone's leaving. People are going to get a beer, going to buy a shirt, going to the bathroom, whatever. And I was like, it freaked me out so much that I was like, I, under I understand why they're leaving because everybody's not a drummer and no one can see what he's doing technically. There's a big wall of drums here. All you see is sticks flailing. Yeah. So that inspired me, seeing that and other drum solos inspired me to like take it up front and show people what's going on back there. So I started rotating the drums halfway, so now they'd have a top view. I saw that too. And then I started spinning them around, and now they're on roller coasters. Wait till you see the new one I'm, I'm, I'm building right now, dude. It's, oh, fucking, it's fucking insane. <laughs> You want to see more of my rock and roll road trip? Go right here for exclusive behind the scenes content.